So I expect you all know by now that I'm a big fan of the Beyerdynamic GT770 Pro and you might have seen my video where I modded a removable cable into uh, my ATO ohm pair. I've heard about this mod that you can do to the GT770 Pro which is supposed to tighten up the base and make them sound a little bit less boxy and you do that by adding some dampening material to the inside of the cups and adding some weight to the back of the driver. I've absolutely no idea if this mod will be successful, but I'm really, really curious. So um, let's get into it. Hey guys, it's Noel, and I'm back with another mod for the Bayer Dynamics GT770. You know how much I love this headphone. Anyway, I'd previously done the uh, Mini XLR removable cable mod, and also now I'm going to try a mod that um, I've never tried before. And I don't really know if it actually does what it says on the tin, but this is a mass loading and dampening mod. Th there is actually a company in the UK, Custom Cams, that sells a kit ready to go. Uh, but this stuff is, uh, I think it's a Dynamat, I think that's what this is. So what they've done is they pre-cut this Dynamat um, in, in shapes ready to go into the cans. You, uh, This is the only instructions that came with it, is that you line the can with this dampening material. And you can also add weight to the back of the driver. This apparently tightens up the bass and um, generally just improves the sound, so say. Now, I don't know about that, but I'm going to try it and see what happens. I've separated out the bits so you get one long weight per ear and four small ones. So I think the long one goes around the outside of the back of the driver and then the four small ones in this lattice, material, uh, lattice pattern on the back. And um, then you have this ring and this circle here. So you've got the ring on the outside, the circle there, and then this long straight part, which goes over, uh, that looks like the top part of the driver. First thing we need to do then is we need to take the, um, take the ear pad off. Let's see. So the same sort of idea as uh, when I did the cable mod, you just pop the screwdriver in here and then just lever this up. It's a bit of a pain sometimes. There we go. So just put that aside and then tap the driver out. There we go. This is the one that I did the modification on before. So I'm just going to put that aside as well. So now I'm probably going to need a knife to cut around the outside of this. A, a, a proper craft knife would probably do the trick for this rather than a standing knife sort of thing. But this is all I've got. Okay, so I've cut out one of the discs, and so I need to cut out the inside as well. And I suppose what you could do is just buy some Dynamat yourself and cut this yourself. Um, also get some lead weights or something yourself to do this mod. Um, this company just happened to be local to me, and also um, they happened to sell this kit. And in fact, it was actually on that site that I spotted it. Um, I've got no affiliation with them whatsoever, but I did go to college. They're in Cheltenham. I went to college in Cheltenham for a while, and I feel like, well, why not support a local business, especially at this time at the moment, what with uh, this global crisis that's going on. So maybe I'll, I'll provide a link down in the description for that. So I'll just see if I can cut all the way around this and pull this out. This really isn't the knife for the task, but yeah. Looks like it's got it done. The, the thing, cool thing about this mod, and the, the only reason why I'm prepared to do it, really, because I love my 770s, the only reason I'm prepared to do it is this is entirely reversible. I stick this in, I don't like it, I'm just going to peel it back out again, so it's totally fine. This is all just self-adhesive, There's, it's not a permanent thing. So I'll just get rid of this. So now I've got my two rings. And this should probably fit on the outside of this one, yeah. And this should fit in the middle. Yeah, okay, that makes sense why it's cut out from in between. So now we just need to stick this on the inside. So I'll peel that back. Ooh. And just try and insert that in the right place. 
think that looks about right. I'll just press that down. And I'll do the same with this ring. And this is going to be the difficult part with these wires. Hopefully, I can get this to fit in okay. Okay, that looks good. So next up, we'll do this strip across the top there. So that's these bits. There we go. So according to the picture, that's going to go just about here. So in between where the cable exits and uh, the hinge part there. I'm not sure why you don't put any on any of the other parts, but I mean, possibly we could just put some in if we wanted to. There is going to be some spare, like you could easily cut another strip out of that if you wanted to. But I'm going to do it as per the instructions. These guys apparently sell these headphones um, pre-modded, which is pretty cool. Um, but I like to do things myself. But I figured I would buy this kit from them, seeing as they uh, put everything that I needed in one pack. So that's good. Right, that should be it for the dampening. So now we just need to do the mass loading on the driver, which means that we need these little weights. Obviously that's going to mean, once we're done, that's going to mean that the headphone is heavier than it originally was. So this is self-adhesive, this stuff as well. So I'll just peel that back. And I would say just, also nice and flexible as well. So just like that, push that down. Okay, cool. I mean, I don't know much about the idea of, of, of mass loading, but I have heard that people do that to the back of uh, speaker drivers for speakers, but um, I've not really heard of people doing it with headphones. So I'm actually really quite curious myself, hence why I'm doing this mod myself. The next piece will go along here. I'm wondering if it might have been better to put the, the ring around first rather than putting this on first. Also, I'm not sure if this is lead. If it is lead, then obviously I think it is lead. Obviously, if it is lead, then you do need to wash your hands after handling this. Where's that other piece? You know, you don't want to be handling lead like this and then going and having your lunch afterwards without washing your hands because lead is very, very toxic. Yeah, I really think I should have put this bit on first. Oh well. Um, I think it'll be fine though, so I'm just going to go with go with it and see what happens. Next, I think with the one on the other side, I think I will um, put this bit on first. Uh, this, this is quite simple so far. Just squeeze that all the way around. I believe the idea to adding weight to a driver is just, um, I mean, this is this is static weight, not um, not moving mass, but it's to offset the moving mass. So uh, that's to keep the, the driver more stable. And then in theory, that tightens up the driver. So I want to get this bit back on, this little crown. Um, there we go. And then we can just put this back in lining up this is the annoying part that's going to fall off um, line that up with a notch there and then should be able to push it back in place so back with the little piece of foam and then the retention ring uh, lining the notch at the top And there we go, we are back 
in business. I'll just put this I'll just put this pad back on first. I've done some testing with these since they were modded and um yeah, I think they are a bit warmer. Um they're also quite a bit bassier and maybe they are a little bit tighter in the bass perhaps, but I'm not really sure if I like what uh, what they've done. They they are a little bit now a little bit more bass boosted than they were before and I think maybe they've gone a little bit too far. Uh, so I've measured it and there is a measurable difference. So let's just take a look at the graphs now. So my DT770 Pro with and without the mod. So the, the pinkish red color is the, um, the stock and the yellow is the modded version. Um, everything else looks about the same. Uh, certainly within variants of measurements, but everything down from about 200 hertz is most definitely um, different. So it looks like where, where we have this um, dip here at um, hang on, where we have this dip here at 80 um, 80 hertz that seems to have moved back down to about 70 hertz. This is a similar change to what we see happen when you change the ear pads um, when you have older and newer ear pads. This notch here actually moves quite a bit as the ear pads as they uh, as they wear but actually what happens as the ear pads wear is the the bass um actually decreases but with this mod the bass has actually increased a fair bit a fair bit so we're probably looking at about uh, at 50 hertz we're looking at about maybe 2 db there uh, not huge but it is quite consistent that we have this difference here um all the way from 20 hertz um, all the way up to about 200 hertz, we've got a increase in the bass across this entire range. Okay, so I've been using these with the mod for about a week now. And yeah, the, the, the extra bass is definitely noticeable, uh, but I'm not sure if it's really worth it. Uh, for music, I don't think it really adds anything extra. In fact, I thought that the amount of bass on the DT770 Pro is about right for music already. So emphasizing that bass more doesn't seem like a smart move, un unless you're into really bass heavy music, in which case, actually, that, that might really help. I tend to wear them for gaming, for general purpose use, for movies and TV and things like that. And actually, do you know what? This extra bass certainly does add a certain uh, amount of that dumb enjoyment factor that you get from a bassy headphone. For things like explosions in movies and, and for video games, it, it really adds a little bit something that makes them that little bit more exciting, I suppose. Whether I'm going to keep this mod in these headphones long term, I'm not sure. I haven't really made up my mind, but I don't think that this mod is a complete waste of time. If you do think that the DT770 Pro is a little bit bass light, then absolutely. I think this is a pretty good mod you can do. I think for most people... If you are listening to music with them, it might add a little bit too much bass. But again, for, for TV, movies, video games, actually, it's pretty good. Right, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any other ideas for mods that um, I can try with a 770 or any other headphone, then let me know. I do quite like tinkering with stuff. So, uh, so maybe I can make a whole series out of it. So make sure you like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much to the patrons. And if you want to support the channel, then check the links down in the description or you can like and share. All of those things help me out a lot. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, have a good one.